The original Outrun is a true classic video game, fondly remembered by thousands of people, be it the original arcade version or one of the many ports on Sega consoles over the years. While the game did receive its fair share of sequels back in the 80s and 90s, all of them moved away in, in some way from the formula that made the original so pure and fun to play. Turbo boosts, aggressive police cars and motorbikes were all added to greater or lesser success. After a while though, the sequel stopped coming and it looked like the Outrun series was destined to become a relic of the past. Then in 2003, the original creator of the series, Yu Suzuki, released a new arcade game with the name Outrun 2, a true follow-up to the 1986 hit that used the exact same formula but brought it bang up to date in glorious 3D. While Outrun 2 never became as popular as the first game due to the sad decline of arcades, it was well received by fans of the series and eventually was brought over to the original Xbox pretty much intact. After a few years, another version of Outrun 2 was released in the arcades with an all new set of 15 different stages to drive through. Having done such a good job of converting Outrun 2 to the Xbox, Sumo Digital was once again tasked with bringing the new Outrun 2 SP over to the home consoles. It was not just a straight conversion as somebody made the smart decision to cram both the original 15 courses and the new 15 into one game, along with a ton of unlockables and extensive single player campaigns in Flagman and Heartbreaker. If for some reason Outrun 2006 Coast to Coast is not in your PS2 or Xbox collection, then you should definitely pick up a copy pronto as it's a fantastic game. Let's take a closer look. While there is a bit of noticeable popping as you transition from one stage to another and the game very occasionally slows down when there are a lot of cars on screen, for the most part Outrun 2006 is a smooth, fast and fantastically colourful driving game. Each of the 30 stages on offer is really well designed and often breathtaking to drive through. The environments are many and varied and include jungles, Incan ruins, icy mountain paths, casino cities at night and many more. It really does feel like you're going on an exhilarating road trip when you play a round of Outrun 2006. Even better, the game supports progressive scan so you can play it in 480p widescreen if your TV supports it. The original Outrun was famed for its amazing music that you could choose on the radio before starting a game, and the three classic tunes, Passing Breeze, Magical Sound Shower and Splash Wave, make a return in their original form, updated versions and Eurobeat style dance remixes. There's also quite a bit of extra music in the game, some of it decent, some of it horribly cheesy. Typically anything with lyrics is cringe-inducingly bad, and the instrumental tunes are perfectly decent. A lot of the extra tunes and remixes have to be bought with Outrun Miles that you earn for playing the game. As well as the music, the young lady in the passenger seat sometimes has something to say. She's not exactly the best voice actress I've ever heard, but it's not too bad really. As you progress through the Heartbreaker campaign, you can unlock other girls to take for a ride. For those of you who have never played the original Outrun game, I'll quickly go over how things work. It's basically a simple race against the clock, with the timer constantly ticking down and you trying not to crash into other cars and roadside obstacles. At the end of each stage, the road branches left or right, with the left route being easier and the right being more challenging. Once you've chosen a branch, you then go through a checkpoint, refilling your time limit somewhat and moving on to the next environment. Make it through five stages in a row and you win. There are various difficulty settings basically giving you more or less time to make it through to the end. Outrun 2 added a drift mechanic that is somewhat similar to the Ridge Racer series, so now you can slide your way around the more challenging bends. It's great fun. Then we have Flagman mode which is a more conventional race against up to 11 other rivals. It's enjoyable and adds to the lifespan of the game, but it's nothing all that revolutionary. The most interesting mode in the game has got to be the Heartbreaker though. Here, the last that is constantly sat in the passenger seat sets you various challenges as you tear up the tarmac. This includes things like breaking a ribbon that is in between two cars, avoiding meteorites falling from the sky, or dodging tractor beams from invading UFOs. It's very very odd, but a lot of fun. 
It will take you quite a while to complete Heartbreaker as well, as you can be given different challenges each time through. The overall objective is to score an average of an A rank on all challenges to advance to the next girl, of which there are three. Finally, in the shop you can buy reverse versions of the courses and a 15 stage continuous mode for both the Outrun 2 and the SP stages, which can be very challenging. Overall, Sumo Digital have taken what could have been quite a simple game and added a ton of content to keep you coming back for quite some time. The different wacky challenges that Sumo and Sega have managed to concoct for the Heartbreaker mode are great, and something I haven't really seen in a racing game before, so the game earns some serious points for this. As for the rest, well, it's bringing a well-loved retro franchise back from the grave, and you can't argue with that. Well, you could, but you'd be a knob. If Outrun 2006 Coast to Coast had just contained the 30 stages from the two arcade machines, then that would have been okay, but we may have started to tire of it before too long. By bolstering the game with two lengthy single player campaigns, and including a store with a vast array of cars, music, stages and modes to buy, then they've increased the longevity of this release tenfold. It also can't be ignored that copies of this game can easily be found for just a few quid online, so you really have no excuse not to get yourself a copy if you don't have it already. The version of the game that was put out on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 is sadly no longer available and is inferior to this release anyway. This is the way to go if you want some modern outrun action. Outrun 2006 Coast to Coast is pure, undiluted fun from beginning to end. It's definitely one of those true feel-good games that I return to time and time again when I need cheering up. Both those who loved the original 1986 game and those who've never played it before will really enjoy this super sequel. Here's hoping the series will return again one day with an even more up-to-date incarnation. In the meantime, at least we still have Outrun 2006 for our retro fix.